Hey friend, if you want to save money in your grocery bill this month, you need to watch this video. I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I buy from Aldi and why I buy it and how you're able to stock up and save money on those things. Let's go. Right when I walk into the store is the fruit and vegetable aisle. So I like to pick up strawberries from here because it is a decent price. It's $1.98 for a nice amount of strawberries. I just need to make sure I get one that doesn't have any spoiled strawberries because that tends to happen sometimes. Now here's a perfect example of why you should be looking at unit price. The baby peeled carrots are a pound, 16 ounces for 99 cents, and the two pound bag of whole carrots are $1.98, which essentially is 99 cents for a pound. Because they're exactly the same, you then have the choice of whole carrots or baby carrots. I picked the baby carrots just because now I don't have to worry about processing them myself. The bananas were a great deal at 49 cents a pound, and I always pick up bagels from here. Most of the bread varieties that they have are really good and the prices are amazing. I'm not picking this up today, but this is what I usually use if I'm making a sushi bowl. It's so good, they're tasty, and each packet is about a meal's worth for an individual. I thought that this was really interesting. Compared to the name brand of these popcorn snacks, which are usually sold between $4 and $5 a bag, these were less than $2. And this is my ultimate favorite oat milk of all time. I've tried other oat milk, and honestly, Aldi is my favorite flavor, and the price is right as well. I ended up picking up two of these. I know it just shows I put one in the cart. I came back and got another one. I did want to show you that their baking supplies are really affordable as well, $1.39. I just went to a store last week that had that same amount of flour for almost $5. And these tomato cans are a really great price. I use these for a lot of tomato bases and stews and a lot of recipes. The black beans had a great price, 60 cents a can. Those are usually a dollar to a dollar 25 a can. And even the organic variety is still less than somewhere else. 92 cents a can is really good. I personally also really like the selection that they have of spices really affordable everything is mostly less than a dollar unless you're looking at the organic varieties and i needed some more potato flakes so i always use a combination of things in my recipes either potato flakes or raw potatoes but potato flakes are great if you're on the go i also really love using them for my takeout fake out kfc edition like when I'm making the KFC bowls. They come out really good and super quick. Next up is the tortilla variety. They have a ton and their prices are really affordable. I've never picked up a can of chipotle and adobo sauce, but I wanted to pick it up because I want to start kind of figuring out how I can use it because I've heard that it's packed with flavor. And I couldn't leave the store without showing you the meat variety, even though I'm not picking up any meat today. Their chicken breast was on sale. It was $1.89 a pound, and that's a great price for my area. Again, you need to know the prices in your area so that you know if you're getting a good deal. And I really love their seafood section. Each bag is less than a pound, but if you stretch it out with pasta dishes, you'll actually get a lot out of it. I can feed my family with one bag of those deveined peeled shrimp, and I love that they're deveined and peeled because that means that they're much more convenient for me and so much easier to use, which cuts down my kitchen prep time. I also really like their ready-made potatoes. Their potato puffs are really good. Their seasoned and regular fries are really good, and the prices are great. So you can still get some meal helpers on a budget. And of course, I do not come to the store and ever leave without broccoli, unless they don't have any more. 89 cents a pound for a bag, and I usually can use a bag for two different meals because I stretch it out inside of the recipe. Same thing for corn. I love to have these things in my freezer waiting for me if I need them. We also recently ran out of ketchup, and this is a huge tub of it. I don't know, tub, jar, container? <laughs> for less than $2, so I picked that up. And while I'm not picking up any of these items, I just wanted to show you some ideas of things that you can start meal prepping at home and freezing from scratch. These are ways that you can create conveniences inside of your home so that you don't have to worry about buying the modern conveniences at a premium and instead have those conveniences waiting for you when you need them on a budget. I got 23 items. And I spent a total of $32.68. And I splurged. <laughs> so 
I got some Oreos for my little kiddo who really loves them and I usually can't find the mint Oreo and I was like okay I'm just gonna splurge on it it's an impulse buy but that's okay it's all about balance right so I ended up getting it thinking oh this is probably gonna drive up the prices and everything else and I spent $32 I do have one more place to go I have to go to the international grocery store because there were things that Aldi did not have that I need like cucumbers tomatoes um, and just some other produce but otherwise I got everything I need from Aldi oh and I do need to get some international like deli stuff so let's head out there now okay so I just finished the second store the international grocery store and I spent $24 I'm sorry $22.24 so not bad considering that I got Middle Eastern deli meat that tends to be really expensive and this is one of the only places in my area that sell exactly what we like. So um, I'm pretty happy with this week's totals. I'm going to total it all up for you um, when we get home and I'm going to show you everything that I got so that we can look at it together. I literally just dropped the Oreos but this was kind of a splurge. It's the party size, so it has a lot of them in here, and this was about almost $5, so it was really a splurge, but even with this, we still spent way less than my current weekly budget. So we got the mint Oreos, we got one of my favorite chips, these brown rice crisps in sweet chili. They're so, so good. This was, an Aldi, this was part of the Aldi trip. We also got regular plain bagels mashed potato flakes i love using these for quick recipes instead of like peeling and boiling potatoes it just makes it super simple i got two oat milks because we're currently lenting and we do lenting vegan style so we use a lot of oat milk i got two of the corn frozen corn and broccoli florets we got ketchup because we ran out um crispy rice because i will show you in just a minute why i got that I got some more tomato sauce because I use this for everything. And I got this chipotle in adobo sauce. I wanted to see if I can try it with tofu and see if it would come out good because that sounds really good um, instead of chicken. And then we got strawberries, bananas. I like to get them green because they ripen super fast here. I got some avocados, tomatoes, cucumbers, cauliflower because my kiddo loves it marshmallows so with the marshmallows and the rice krispies we're gonna make rice krispie treats from scratch and then we got some deli stuff so this is romano cheese mortadella and bustermo which is not pastrami this is like a middle eastern um cured meat it's really thin it's so good on in sandwiches and so is the mortadella so all in all we got all of this stuff that's behind me for just this amount. That's kind of crazy because for a family of four, we spend about $100 to $125 per week on groceries and we were able to get it really low today, which means I have a lot of money to stock up on sale items if we have any for next week. And this just goes to show that if you plan ahead you pay attention to your prices and you pay attention to the stores that you're visiting, you can get some really great deals and get every still save money. If you want to learn how I do it and my systems specifically, I have a grocery game changer class that you can join. The link is in the description below. We're having another class on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern. It's a live 30 minute class. So if you wanna learn how to save money on your groceries and want a quick and easy method, I've got you covered. Go ahead and click on the link in the description box to learn more.